चलो Sir, we are live now. We can go live. Yom Namaste to all. <coughs> Hari Yom. Prostrating at the lotus feet of Brahmanista Sadguru Shrotriya Sri Virajeshwara Saraswati. On behalf of all of us, <coughs> today's discourse on Viveka Chudamani, the commentary. On Viveka Chudamani, given by Acharyas, Mahapurushas, will continue with the Mangala Charana Shloka. <laughs> Om Shri Ganeshaya Namaha Om Shri Mahasarswatyai Namaha Sada Shiva Samarambham Sri Shankaracharya Madhyamam Asmadacharya Paryantam Vande Guru Paramparam Shruti Smuti Purana Malayam Karunalayam Namami Bhagavat Padam Shankaram Loka Shankaram Shankaram Shankaracharyam Keshavam Badarayanam Sotra Bhashya Kurta Vande Bhagavanto Punah Punah Sarva Vedanta Siddhanta Gojaram Tamagojaram Govindam Paramanandam Sadgurum Pranados Miham Om Nama Bhagavate Virajeshwaraya Hari Om. Last time, the sloka number, verse number 114, 114, it was stopped in the Viveka Chudamani. And from today, from 115, 115 sloka number onwards, the discourse will continue. For the Sala, Acharyaru Madulu, e Maya Baggi Vivrane Kurta Madulu, Maya Yerud Mahat, Karigala Dantaha, Avaran Shakti, Vikshape Shakti Baggi Herta Bandaga, Madulu, Vikshape Shakti Vivrade in Kurto, Ega, Nantara, Avaran Shakti in the Enunta Hedru, or the Var the Vakana the Lee, Murahat Nakne Shloka the Lee, Avaran Shakti Baggi Hedi. ಇದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರಬಲವಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯನನ್ನ ಹೇಗೆ ಹಿಡಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಮಾಯೆ ಆವರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇದರಿಂದ ಬಿಡಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳದೆ ಕಷ್ಟ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೋ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ರಿಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ವಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಆವರಣ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ However, we are intelligent. However, you are intelligent. Prajnavan api. Api means in spite of. Prajnavan api. Pandito api. Chaturo api. Atyanta sukshmartha druk api. Bahuda sambhodito api. With all that, you being a scholar, you being a great shastrajna, you being with a discerning mind, analytical mind, who can understand everything very quickly with highest intellectual level, with all that, if you are covered by the Tamoguna Pradhana, Avarana Shakti of Maya, look, you think that you are the body one. However much, however much we tell you, you will never come out of this body consciousness. I am the body. I means this person, I am the body itself. I am this body itself. I bear a name. I have a status. My age is this. I am a man or I am a woman. All these things always remain. That is how the Maya beholds and then mesmerizes and controls and imprisons our own individual psyche or the mind or the mental complex. So he says in the last verse, Valida Stamasa Navetti. 
So when, once you are covered by the Avarana Shakti, nothing is known. In spite of telling, you will never know the reality or the truth. What is the truth? All Mahatmans, all Upanishads have repeatedly said the same thing. That you are not the body. The problem is, we identify that I am the body and the problem starts. Problem means in the sense, which problem? We are in this samsara, we are in this world, we are doing all our activities to maintain ourselves and then more than happiness, more than pleasurable events, all life is full of suffering. Mental suffering, physical suffering, suffering due to diseases, restlessness, all these always capture our mind and one fine day we will die. Again we are reborn. See, this is what is called the cycle of birth and death in continuation. So, people are immersed in the ocean of Maya right from the, at the time of creation. So, it goes on. That means right at the time of the birth, it is already there. It goes on till I die, till the body dies. So, how it can be understood? Look, so powerful is the, what we call as the Maya itself, how it has captured us. So he says, Hanta sau pravala duranta tamasa, last verse. Hanta means the Acharya expresses in exclamatory mark with a compassion and a pity on the mankind. Look how difficult this is, how great this Maya is, how great the Avarana Shakti is there. Anta asaf. Prabala duranta tamasa. Mahati avruti shakti. So this avarana is so powerful. Avarana shakti of maya is so powerful. So now, <coughs> there are enough examples in the Upanishads. For example, Kathopanishad. Upanishadthagalalli maya bagge yeshtella varnanagal idhe entandre pahala gooda vagi kambheera vagi gooda artha dalli tumbirthakkanta maha vakya galu mantra galu anuvaka galu upanishadthagal idhe maya bagge kato upanishadthalli vandu varutte maya entandre yenu anu dhe kartha shrunvanto pe bahuvo yamna vidyu shrunvanto pe bahuvo yamna vidyu Yeshtu Tilsi Heli the Ru Yeshte Vidadali Heli the Rusaha Idan Arthamar Kolika Satyavilla Yaudana Imae Prabhava of an Arthamar Koleke Nama Nijastiti no Nama Nijava the Arivu Nam Yaru and Tarthamar Kolika Agodil Katopanisha Inon Kade Adek Topanisha Telte Name Dayana Bahuna Shutena Yam Labdwa Yeshtu Vidadali, Acharyaru, Mahatmaru, Yetigalu, Brahmajanigalu, Bahuna Shrutena, Na Bahuna Shrutena, Our in the now Kedidru Saha, Name the Haya, Nama Santa Alochana Shakti, Nama Buddhi Shakti, the Yochane Madidru Saha, Atmu Vichara Nami Arthagala, Atmu Vadar Tanami Gotagala, Yake, the Maya Prabha. So even the Kathopanishad says in the in its Mantras. Na medhaya na bahuna shutena. Na medhaya na bahuna shutena. However much the en enlightened, realized masters, great Brahmajnanis, great Mahatmas, the Sadguru explains about the nature of the Maya, nature of the bondage, and the reality actually what we are. Still, we don't understand. Na medhaya. Even with your intellectual analysis, however much you read hundreds of books, hundreds of books, hundreds of Vedic literature, hundreds of holy scriptures, thinking that you understand. So even by reading and reading and reading and trying to contemplate what you have read, still it is not possible. Na medhaya. Your intellect cannot understand. Bahunana Shrutena. In spite of listening from the 
great mahatmas brahmanyanis it is not right because it requires ultimately in the final analysis it requires dhatu prasade the sadguru krupa without the krupa without the grace of the sadguru residing in our own heart without his grace this cannot be understood which include includes the initial our sadhana or spiritual practice until we give up the vasanas our own mental tendencies how is it see my ahankara is there with me my raga and dvesha they are with me see hatred and then attachment attachment to my own kids and kids love towards only my own kids and kids hating others mamakara loving only my own people so the raga the dvesha hatredness and all other when such feelings are there the super ego super ahankara how is it possible sadhana cannot continue so one by one one by one when these things are given up forcibly as a habit it has to be practiced so acharya comes to that point now one by one next shloka abhavana va viparita bhavana asambhavana vipratipatti asya samsargayuktam na vimuchanti dhruvam vikshepa shakti kshapayati ajasram abhavana va viparita bhavana sam asambhavana vipratipatti rasya samsargayuktam na vimuchanti dhruvam vikshepa shakti kshapayati ajasram ee shloka dal aacharya helta iddare kone charana vikshepa shakti ajasram kshapayati vikshepa shakti ajasram kshapayati andre ee maya innondu karyavadantaha vikshepa shakti yavaglu sadakala sarvada janana ninda marana baro varige vyaktige manushyanige ajasram sarvada sadakala kshapayati atananna vetegolusuttade ಆತನನ್ನ ಪೀಡಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ಆತನನ್ನ ಬಾಧಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಯಾಕೆ ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನಾ ರೀತಿಯ ಭಾವನೆಗಳು ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಗುರು ಉಪದೇಶ ಮಾಡಿದರೂ ಸಹ ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನಾ ರೀತಿ ಭಾವನೆಗಳು ನಾನಾ ರೀತಿ ಸಂದೇಹಗಳು ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಭಾವನೆ ವಿಪರೀತ ಭಾವನೆ ಅಸಂಭಾವನೆ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತಿ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಂದೇಹ ಅಂತ ಅಭಾವನೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿಯ ಒಂದು ನಿರ್ಧಾರ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಇರೋದು ತಟಸ್ಥ ಅಂತ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ತಟಸ್ಥ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಅಭಾವನೆ ಭಾವನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲ ವಿಪರೀತ ಭಾವನೆ ವಿಪರೀತ ಭಾವನೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ನಮ್ಮ ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ನಿರಂತರವಾಗಿ ತಪ್ಪು ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಹುಟ್ಟಿದಾಗಿನಿಂದ ಸಾಯುವ ತನಕ ಏನ್ ತಪ್ಪು ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ದೇಹ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಶರೀರ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಯಾವಾಗ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಶರೀರ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀನೋ ನೀನ್ ಬೇರೆ ನಾನು ಬೇರೆ ಬಂದೇ ಬಿಡುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಜಗತ್ತೇ ಬೇರೆ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಬೇರೆ ನಾನು ಬೇರೆ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂಥವನು ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂಥವಳು ಅದು ವಿಪರೀತ ಭಾವನೆ ಅಸಂಭಾವನಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಸಂಭಾವನಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಓ ಮಹಾತ್ಮರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಪುಸ್ತಕದಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಮಹಾತ್ಮರ ವಚನಗಳಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಉಪದೇಶಗಳಲ್ಲಿದೆ ನೋಡಪ್ಪ ನೀನು ದೇಹ ಅಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಪ್ಪ ನೀನು ಮನಸ್ಸು ಅಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಪ್ಪ ನೀನು ಆತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ವಿಪರೀತ ಭಾವನ ಏನದು ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಸಂಭಾವನಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಸಂಭಾವನೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಹಾಗೆ ಇರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯನೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ತಪ್ಪು ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಇದು ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದೇಹ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರಲ್ಲ ಮಹಾತ್ಮರು ಹಾಗಿರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ತಪ್ಪಿರ್ಬೋದು ಹಾಗೆ ಅದು ಅಸಂಭಾವನೆ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಸಂದೇಹ ಸಂದೇಹ ಏನ್ ಸಂದೇಹ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಮಹಾತ್ಮರು ಹೀಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ 
ವಿವೇಕ ಚೂಡಾಮಣಿಲಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಶಂಕರ ಭಗವತ್ ಪಾತ್ರ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಪ್ಪ ಮಾಯಾ ಶಕ್ತಿ ನಿನ್ನನ್ನ ಆವರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ನಿಜ ಅರ್ಥದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀನು ದೇಹವೇ ಅಲ್ಲ ನೀನು ಮನಸ್ಸೂ ಅಲ್ಲ ನೀನು ಬುದ್ಧಿನೂ ಅಲ್ಲ ನೀನು ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಗಳು ಅಲ್ಲ ನೀನು ಶುದ್ಧ ಬುದ್ಧ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಆತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರಲ್ಲ ಹೌದಾ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರೋ ಸರಿನ ಅವ್ರು ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿದಾರ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರೋ ತಪ್ಪಾಗಿದ್ರೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಸಂದೇಹಗಳು ಇವು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಯಾತಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಸಂದೇಹಗಳಿಂದ ಸೇರ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಆ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಈ ತರಹ ಸಂದೇಹಗಳನ್ನು ಉಂಟು ಮಾಡಿ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಬಲವಾಗಿ ಹಿಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಇದೆ ಈ ಶ್ಲೋಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೇಸ್ ದಿ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಯ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಟು ಡೆತ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಚರ್ಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ intellectual complex our antakarana it has totally imprisoned it has totally taken over vikshepa shakti of maya vikshepa shakti ajasram kshapayati all the time ajasram all the time from birth to death birth to death kshapayati it makes you to suffer to remain in the samsara think the samsara this world is real thinking that i am real i am this body i am so and so see everything is real my people are there my kids and kins are there they are mine others are different they are not mine let me live myself according to me let me only love my own people see this ahankara mamakara raga dvesha all these things always kshapayati always ajasram kshapayati it it controls your mind it makes you to suffer mentally all the time all the time we are restless however rich you are however poor you are let apart money part whether you are rich or poor history is a witness your own life if you analyze are you not restlessness in life are you really contented in life if a mahatman poses the question are you really contented completely 100% with what you are now what you have now how many will say yes a question how many will say yes are we really contented are we really happy always we are restless always the worries are there see that is all due to vikshepa shakti kshapayati it makes you to grieve makes you to suffer and acharya says here how it how it controls it produces such mental thoughts or mental modifications even when you hear the truth from the mouth of the great sage or a realized person a enlightened soul a mahatman when a mahatman says when the upanishad say look you are not the body you are the atma swaroop you are that parama chaitanya you are eternal there is no death there is no birth for you in that sense even in spite of telling you know what happens our mind majority of us when we listen when we read when we listen when we read what happens acharya says abhavana it produces abhavana in our mind we or viparita bhavana in our mind or asambhavana in mind or vipratipatti in our and that is responsible for our continuation in the samsara the maya shakti this vikshepa shakti it, it it induces all these feelings in our when you hear about the truth from the mouth of the realized sages what is abhavana abhavana means there is no right judgment in your mind what 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 the mahatman says there is no right perception at all we don't listen at all it will never enter in our mind abhavana vipareeta bhavana means what thinking exactly opposite what acharya says thinking that i am the body one however much upadesha is given you come out of the lecture you behave as as usual i am the body so 
that is called vipareetha bhavana so that type of mental attitude what is asambhavana asambhavana means no the thing may not be the way as the great sages or mahatmans are telling in their books or in their upanishad no 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 things may not be like maybe they are wrong maybe they are wrong see the, the mind mind starts thinking asambhava no it is not like vipratipatti next another mental affliction doubts whatever the mahatmans are telling whatever the holy scriptures are saying whatever upanishads are saying whatever bhagavad gita is telling vipratipatti doubt mind doubts mind will not believe that mind always develops doubts maybe all these things are only a points raised by others who don't know the reality but the reality is i am the body that is the real see i am seeing it i am feeling i am experiencing how can i deny my existence my means here the person thinks logically intellectual scholarly person how can i deny that i am not the body see as long as i am living i am the body only people identify me by this name i have a status how can you say i am not this no oh, it is not possible so that is how the vikshepa shakti of maya works this is what acharya was talking after the <coughs> next shloka acharya no explains now he explained about the first rajoguna rajoguna that's how the vikshepa shakti operates with the help of rajoguna now he explains about tamoguna of the maya how it binds us the tamoguna of the maya how it binds us complete ajnana malasya jadatva nidra प्रमाद मूढ़ मुखास्तमो गुणा वित्ई प्रयुक्त न हि वेत्ति किंचि ये तै प्रयुक्त न वे न हि वेत्ति किंचि निद्रालुवत्स्तंभवदेवतिष्ठति नो व्हाट इज दिस तमो गुण ऑफ माया आचार्य सेस ई श्लोक दली माय तमोगुण प्रभाव बहुत हेल्ता आचार्य तमोगुण यी के नम मनुष्य नम शरीर जन मरण वे तमोगुण केस ऐन अंत हेतर आचार्य ऐन अज्ञान आलस्य जड़त्व नद्र प्रमाद मूढ़ तमोगुण मुखा तमोगुण मुख्य कार्यवैखरी हेगे नम जीवन अरे अज्ञान आलस्य जड़त्व नद्र प्रमद मूढ़त्व इमोगुण केस अज्ञान नमे आ सद्वस्तु परचय आत्म परचय आत्मज्ञान बरली साध्यवे जन्म अस्ट मटिग अज्ञान आवरण इला मायावरण नम मुस्क अज्ञान अज्ञान सी आलस्य ना यू आलस्य जन नोड़ी यू सोमारी 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 अंत बैता यहालस सरियाद यू बिंदर अंत अर्थ अल्वा जड़त्व जड़त्व अंतर्रे लाइक ए डेड बाॉडी अरे डेड वुडन स्लॉ वुडन स्लॉ जड़त्व यहा केस सीवन नद्रे नू मतर नद्रेलू आवश्यक अदल प्रश्न इद्र अंद्रे तमोगुण केस अदर प्रभाव दिन मटिगे नद्रेल हास्य मेले इंत जड़त्व नद्रे एर वूर प्रमद तपतिलिके प्रमद यू तप तिलो मूढ़ मनस स्थिति आ मेद स्थिति आगली 
ಆಲೋಚನಾ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಾಗ್ಲಿ ವಿವೇಚನಾ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಾಗ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ದೇ ಇರೋದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮ ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನ ಹೇಳದಾಗ ಒಂದು ಚೂರು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗದೆ ಇರೋದು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಮೂಢತ್ವ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅವರು ಬುದ್ಧಿವಂತರು ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ವ್ಯವಹಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂಢತ್ವ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಚೂರು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳದೆ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂಢತ್ವ ಅಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಇದು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಇರ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ತಮೋಗುಣದ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕಂಬದ ಹಾಗೆ ಇರ್ತಾನೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ತಮೋಗುಣ ಪ್ರಧಾನವಾಗಿದೆಯೋ ಅಂತಹ ಜನಗಳು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ತಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳು ಆಲಸಿಗಳು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ನಿದ್ರೆ ಮಾಡತಕ್ಕಂಥವರು ತಪ್ಪು ತಿಳಿಯುವಂಥವರು ಮೂಢರು ಆಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಆಲಸ್ಯಂ ಜಡತ್ವ ನಿದ್ರ ಪ್ರಮಾದ ಮೂಢತ್ವ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತಮೋಗುಣ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬಿಟ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೇರ್ ತಮೋಗುಣ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ 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 ಈಸಿಲಿ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಬೈ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಮೋರ್ ತಮೋಗುಣಿ ದನ್ ಸತ್ವಗುಣಿ He is a more tamaguni than rajoguni, like that. So what are this, the, the, the identifiable characters of a tamaguna? Ajnana, alasya, jadatva, nidra, pramada, mudhatva. Ajnana, the basic apathy, ignorance. The alasya, the laziness, jadatva, the inert nature, slothing nature, not moving for any work. always remaining at home not coming out for any work at all jadatva like a sloth and nidra excess sleep then what is required all the time on the bed excess sleep all the time on the bed more than what is required to the body then pramada negligence and moodhatva foolish behavior foolishness intellectual capacity is not fully developed however you tell they will never understand any spiritual aspects of life so that they are the foolish people in that sense moodha acharya they are all identifiable nature of a tamoguna pradhana individual then he comes to what is sattva guna na see Maya is made up of Rajoguna, Tamaguna, Sattvaguna. Now he comes to Sattvaguna. What is a Sattvaguna? By and large, Sattvaguna means that is one thing which we have to, by force, we have to put in lot of effort to develop, to develop that, this particular aspect in it. All Mahatmas say, we should be more concentrated to develop Sattvaguna in our life. Acharya now explains that. ಸತ್ವ ವಿಶುದ್ಧ ಜಲವತ್ ತಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ಮಿಲಿ ಸರಣಾಯ ಕಲ್ಪತೆ ಯತ್ರಾತ್ಮಬಿಂಬ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬಿತ ಸನ್ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಯತಿ ಅರ್ಕ ಇವಾಖಿಲ ಜಡ ಸತ್ವ ವಿಶುದ್ಧ ಜಲವತ್ ತಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ಮಿಲಿ ಸರಣಾಯ ಕಲ್ಪತೆ ಯತ್ರಾತ್ಮಬಿಂಬ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬಿತ ಸನ್ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಯತಿ ಅರ್ಕ ಇವಾಖಿಲ ಜಡ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಶುದ್ಧವಾದ ನೀರಿನ ಹಾಗೆ ನಿರ್ಮಲವಾದಂತಹ ಆದ್ರೆ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ರಜೋಗುಣ ತಮೋಗುಣ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಸೇರಿದಾಗ ಆ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣದ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪ್ರಮಾಣದ ಆ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿತ್ವ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೋದು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದ್ರೊಳಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗಾದ್ರೂ ರಜೋಗುಣ ಮತ್ತು ತಮೋಗುಣ ಸೇರಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತನೇ ವೇದಾಂತ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ರಜೋ ಮತ್ತು ತಮೋಗುಣಗಳ ಸೇರುವಿಕೆಯಿಂದ ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ಮಿಶ್ರಣವಾಗಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆತ್ಮಬಿಂಬ ಆತ್ಮನ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಸತ್ವಗುಣದ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಿದ್ದರೂ ಸಹ ಆ ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಹೊಂದಿದ್ರೂ ಸಹ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ತಮೋಗುಣ ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ರಜೋಗುಣ ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದ ನಾವು ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸತ್ವ ವಿಶುದ್ಧ ಜಲವತ್ತಾಪಿ ತಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ಮಿಲಿತ್ವ ಸರಣಾಯ ಕಲ್ಪತೆ ತಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ಮಿಲಿತ್ವ 
So the very word sattva means it is mixture along with a little bit of tamoguna and rajoguna. Sattva comprises a little bit of tamoguna and rajoguna also. See, all the three are combined actually, almost inseparable. So though it is pure, like a water, like a pure water, sattva guna, it is mixed with some percentage of rajoguna and a small percentage of tamoguna. That is how this sattva guna is responsible for saranaya kalpate, continuation of samsara birth and death cycle to continue. But the Sattvagana is so important, here the Atma is reflected like a sun and makes the world very bright. Yatratma bimbaha pratibimbita san prakasha yati arka ivakilam yadam. This Sattvagana is actually reflected by the jyoti of Atma itself inside. Sattvaguna is so important, it is of the greatest value when compared to Tamoguna, which is the lowest. Rajoguna in the middle and the highest value is attributed to Sattvaguna. Sattvaguna is very important because ultimately with the help of the Sattvaguna, Adhyatmic Sadhana will continue. With the help of Sattvaguna, this spiritual sadhana will continue. And the same sattva guna happens to be the foundation for later at a higher level realization. So it is important. Acharya says. Now, what is this sattva guna? This sattva means it is a mixture of little bit of tamoguna and please remember rajoguna. Ega sattva guna, adra mukhivada karikshetra prabhava ye no untandre, sattva guna the parinamagal ye nandre munishana jivanadali, yarali sattva guna hechi dio, ata hagirta ne untandre, mundinish loka held by the rajaribu, mishra se sattva se bhavanti dharma. Amanita dya, niyama yamadya, Shadhacha bhaktisya mumukshutacha, Daivicha sampati asanni vruttihi, Mishrasya sattvasya bhavanti dharma, Amanita dya, niyama yamadya, Shadhacha bhaktisya mumukshutacha, Daivicha sampati asanni vruttihi, Sattva guna Prabalavadaga, Manushana Jeevana Dali, Yaro Sattva guna din the Tumbirtare Yarali Sattva guna Sulpamati Hechu, Hechu Prabalavagi Bedita idio, Rutiata idio Antaurali Yavriti Sattva guna the Prabhava irate Antaha Vectili Amanitwa Amanitwa Yamani Yamagado Shadhe, Bhakti, Mumukshatva, Intaha, Daivi, Sampati, in the Ata, Badashtu, Prabhavitanaktani, Asuri, Sampati, in the Paragade Bandirtan, Asuri, Sampati, in the Dikara Madi, Daivi, Sampati, in the Hundataktantaha, a Manas in a Bhava Athana Lebalavagate, Sakir Kelta, Satpakuna the Prabhavati, Yaudiaudu, Amanitwa, Andre. Is Swabimana nano, 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 no Ankara idila, nan in tono, nan in tono. As in a poor tek tegadakodo, nan under yenu alla, nan under son ne Naniaro, Ubadota Rajkarani, Dodo IAS officer, Dodo IPS officer, Ubadota Vapari, Bada Hesran the Kavi, Bada Dodda Buddhijivi, Bada Dudirta Kantaha, Seman the Victi. Bahar Vodira Uno Idella Swabimana on a Keras Lake, Nimahankara on a Rudhiman Lake Karanagale Horto Nan Andre Idiavu Alapa Jagatna Lee 
ನನ್ನ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಬಲವನ್ನ ನನ್ನ ಅಂತಸ್ತಿನ ಬಲವನ್ನ ತೋರಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ದೆ ಗುಪ್ತವಾಗಿ ಅನಾಮಧೇಯನಾಗಿ ಉಳಿಯೋದಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಅಮಾನಿತ್ವ ಅಮಾನಿತ್ವ ಯಾವಾಗ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಆದಾಗ ಕೋರ್ಟಿಗೆ ಒಬ್ರು ಹತ್ತು ಲಕ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಒಬ್ರು ಈ ಅಮಾನಿತ್ವವನ್ನು ಪಾಲನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾನು ನನಗೇನು ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾನು ಯಾರು ನಾನು ಏನು ಅಲ್ಲ ನೋಡೋಣ ಎಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಈ ಮಾತನ್ನ ಹೃದಯಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ನೀವೇ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗಿ ಜ ಜಗತ್ನ ಅದು ಅಮಾನಿತ್ವ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಶೂನ್ಯರ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ರಹಿತ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ನಿಯಮ ಯಮ ಯಮ ನಿಯಮಗಳು ನಮ್ಮ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಯೋಗ ಸೂತ್ರದ ಅಷ್ಟಾಂಗ ಯೋಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಕ ಹಂತಗಳು ಸಾಧನಾ ಹಂತಗಳು ಯಮ ನಿಯಮ ಆಸನ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಯಾಮ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಹಾರ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಧಾರಣ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಯಮ ನಿಯಮಗಳು ನಾವು ಆಚರಿಸ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಳವಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕಾದಂತ ಕೆಲವು ಕಾರ್ಯಗಳು ಅಂತ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಮಹರ್ಷಿಗಳು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ನಿಯಮಗಳನ್ನ ಪಾಲಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಯಮವನ್ನ ಪಾಲಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಏನಪ್ಪ ಯಮ ನಿಯಮ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಮ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಅಹಿಂಸೆ ಸತ್ಯ ಅಸ್ತೇಯ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕಳತನ ಮಾಡದೇ ಇರೋದು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ಅಪರಿಗ್ರಹ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿನಿಗ್ರಹ ಇದು ಯಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಸಾಧನೆ ನಿಯಮಗಳು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಶೌಚ ಸಂತೋಷ ತೃಪ್ತಿ ತಪಸ್ಸು ಸ್ವಾಧ್ಯಾಯ ಈಶ್ವರ ಪ್ರಣಿಧಾನ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಪಾಲಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಇದು ಸತ್ವಗುಣದ ಧರ್ಮಗಳು ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿದ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ತಾನಾಗಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯನ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷುತ ಗುರುವಚನದಲ್ಲಿ ವೇದ ವಚನಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅಥವಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಗ್ರಂಥಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಗ್ರಂಥಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅತೀವಾದ ಆದರ ಅತೀವಾದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಅತೀವಾದ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಅದು ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನಲ್ಲಿ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಅದು ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪಾರವಾದ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷುತ ನಾನು ಯಾರು ಅಂತ ತಿಳಿಯಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋ ಕುತೂಹಲ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮದ ಹಸಿವು ಮುಮುಕ್ಷುತ್ ಮುಮುಕ್ಷುತ್ವ ಇವೆಲ್ಲವೂ ಸತ್ವಗುಣದ ಧರ್ಮಗಳು ಅಂತ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಸೊ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ದ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವೇದಾಂತಿಕ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ರಜಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ತಮಸ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ so the features of satvaguna acharya says here in the shloka they are amanitva absence of pride total humility total surrender this is a very difficult thing in life you know amanitva total absence of pride forgetting your status what you are always remembering that you are a big zero in the real sense everything is parma everything is parabrahma i as a body as a mental status as a individual i am a big zero who are you i am a big zero see it is not for publicity your mind should convict with conviction should believe that that is amanitva so with amanitva what happens acharya see so much of points are there in one word if you would develop this amanitva feature in our life you are not distressed you never become restless you never become totally you know depressed when somebody insults you when somebody looks down on you when somebody talks ill against you when somebody openly takes names against you in front of you in front of others when sta- somebody starts abusing you abusing you insulting you in front of others if you still remain steady and calm without hating that person without hating that person when somebody insults and abuses without developing anger against this person that is amanitva that is a character of satvaguna that is the nature of satvaguna person with full of satvaguna automatically he practices amanitva the 
pride, super ego, totally, you know, extinguished, dissolved. That is what we have to practice. That is what we have to practice. That is what Acharya is hinting. Amanitva. Niyama and Yama. See, these certain rules of Niyama, certain rules of Yama, we have to follow Acharya says, as given by Patanjali Maharshi in his Ashtanga Yoga Sutras. Ashtanga Yoga Sutras start with these assumptions. You must develop Niyama rules, Yama, certain characters. Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dhyana, Dharana, Samadhi. So, the Ashtanga Yoga Prakriya process will start with the basic Yama Niyama. This Yama Niyama are nothing but ultimately what was told earlier by Acharya in Shatsampati, Shama and Dhamma. And there, Pratyahara. There he calls Uparati or Pratyahara. So, these are all qualities of the mind we should develop. What are, what are the rules of Niyama we should develop? So, a person with Sattva Guna predominance automatically will love and develop these qualities of Niyama. Shaucha, discipline, uh, the, the cleanliness inside, mental cleanliness and the body cleanliness inside and outside. Antar Shuti, Bahir Shuti, Shaucha, cleanliness, Santosha, always to be with the prasanna chitta, always mind should be happy, contentful. Santosha means contentful with whatever you have. Whether sukha is there, dukkha is there, you should be content. Santosha. Tapaha. Tapa means either meditation, japa, all come under the austerity. Austerities come under tapas. Swadhyaya. Always immersed in reading the holy scriptures, the holy books, Vedantic books, as directed by the Guru or the Mahatmas. Reading holy books, Swadhyaya. Ishwara Pranidhana, that is total belief in the Lord, Ishwara, Paramatma, and offering all your actions to Lord. In other words, surrendering to the Lord, Ishwara Pranidhana. Surrendering, bowing ourselves to the Lord. See, they, they follow the niyamas. What are the yamas? Yama means ahimsa. Not to hurt or harm anyone. Wantonly. Satya, always we should be truthful. Asteya. You know, asteya means you should never behave like a thief in the life. Deceiving somebody. Brahmacharya, practicing celibacy important in life. Aparigraha, not to accept everything, anything you've given by others unless what is basic essential for the substance of the life. Aparigraha, not to accept everything from others. So these are the characters of Yama and Niyama. And other things, when Sattvaguna is predominant, what happens in a person? He develops Shraddha. Shraddha. Listening to the Guru, Apta Vachanas, Upadesha of Guru, total conviction and belief in the Guru, belief in the God, Shraddha, belief in the Guru, conviction, surrender to the Guru and God is Shraddha. Bhakti, total devotion, total devotion to the Lord and Guru, that is Bhakti. And Mumukshuta, Mumukshutva, the burning desire to know my reality, my real nature. Who am I? Why I am born? What is the purpose of my birth? I am born today, I will die tomorrow. Okay, very simple. But how many will think like that? What is the purpose of this life? What is the real purpose of this life? How many will think repeatedly the same question haunting in their mind, haunting in their mind every time, repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. For how many it will happen? For how many it will happen? Is a jivanaka asli uddesh kya hai? What is the real purpose of my life? Why I am born? So from there, 
the seed of mumukshutva will commence the burning desire to know who i am will commence only when the question is put in our own self by our own mind these are the characters or qualities of attributes of sattva guna though it is mixed then acharya next tells about the pure sattva guna shuddha sattva guna विशुद्ध सत्व से गुण प्रसाद स्वात्मानुभूति परमा प्रशांति तृप्ति प्रहर्ष परमात्मनिष्ठा यया सदानंद रसम संरुक्षति सो आचार्य नौ से श्लोक निजवाद सत्व गुण अंतर्रे आचार्य ऐन हेल्ता निजवाद सत्व गुण अद्वान विशुद्ध सत्व अथवा शुद्ध सत्व एरू शब्द वेदात शुद्ध सत्व अथवा विशुद्ध सत्व विशेषवाद विशुद्ध सत्व एरू वे शुद्ध सत्व अंदर ऐन अंद्रे आचार्य हेतर तमो गुण मत रजो गुण पूर्त नम मन होगी केवल सत्व गुण मात्र उलियल साधने नमल वासने कड़म आगता 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 ऐन रजोगुण कमी आगता हमें तमो गुण आलस्य जड़त्व अज्ञान अतिया नद्रे प्रमद इवेलू कमी आगता हल आग को उलियो शुद्ध सत् साधने नमल मन अतिया अहंकार काम क्रोध द्वेष मद मोह मत्सर इवेल रजोगुण हिंदे रजोगुण गुण अवेल कड़म आगे यद्य वे दिवस हो गुर अनुग्रह साधने मन भगवंत कड़े तिगसक हपस्माता ध्यान माता जपवानता भगवद अनुग्रह गुर अनुग्रह कड़म आगता हादसे उलियो शुद्ध सत्व विशुद्ध सत् आशुद्ध सत्व पारमार्थिक गुण आचार्य हेल्ता विशुद्ध सत्व से गुण प्रसाद प्रसाद अंद्रे आत्म तृप्ति आत्म सतोष आत्म मन प्रसन्नते मन सदा आनंद मन प्रसन्नते स्वात्मानुभूति आत्मन अनुभूति नम निज स्वरूप अनुभूति अंदर ब्रह्मज्ञान अथवा आत्मज्ञान आत्मज्ञानवे उंटा शुद्ध सत्व सामा सत्व गुण दिंद नम मन शुद्ध सत्व के तिगदा मात्र आत्मानुभूति आगे साध आग परम प्रशात प्रसन्न चिंत प्रशात स्थिति मन उद्भव आगत अली सदाकाल तृप्ति प्रहर्ष परमात्म निष्ठ मन सदा ब्रह्माकार वृत्ति सर्वू परब्रह्म वस्तु रूपवे इडी जगत आधार अधिष्ठान परम चैतन्य परब्रह्म वस्तु परमात्म वस्तु अब नोड़ू इधे जगत कड़े सर्वद सर्वकाल ना आत्मस्वरूपन हर्ष आनंद आ ब्रह्मानंद आ प्रहर्ष अब परमात्म निष्ठे इवेलू विशुद्ध सत्व बरतक मुख्य मुख्यवाद अनुभव अद्ता सो इन दि श्लोक आचार्य से बै द ग्रेस द गुर आर् बै द ग्रेस द गाड वे दईंड स्टार्ट गोयिंग टूवर्ड्स गाड टू नो वाट इज द रियल नेचर आफ् मई बर्थ सो वे स्टार्ट रियली अल्लाइंग युवर मैंड Totally with conviction, surrendering to the God and Guru, start your sadhana, start the japa or meditation, whatever it is, whatever as directed by the Guru. What happens? Our the rajoguna mixed with our sattva, tamoguna characters mixed with sattva. One by one, all these are called vasanas, bad tendencies. One by one, one by one, they are given up. Our rajoguna. टेन्डेन्सी अर्लियर आचार्य से काम क्रोध दंभ ईर्ष्य मत्सर लोभ स्वार्थ इसल रजोगुण क्यारे वन बै वन वन बै वन यू स्टार्ट गिविंग 
what are the tamogona characters alasya nidra ajnana pramada jadatva one by one one by one one by one you start giving so when the effect of rajoguna and tamoguna ultimately these vasanas impure vasanas impure tendencies mental tendencies when they are totally given up by the grace of guru or by the grace of lord during the sadhana what happens the sattva becomes purer and purer and purer and purer and finally it is called as acharya says it is called shuddha sattva or vishuddha sattva both are same so the sattva guna when it predominates and when you start giving up all vasanas all negative tendencies all the mental afflictions only shuddha sattva will remain shuddha sattva will remain so what happens in that condition when the mind becomes pure and pure and pure with the sattva guna a time will come you will develop prasadaha mental attitudes you become totally contentful with the pure sattva totally mental peaceful nature mind becomes always at peace come what may whatever the problems are there for the body and the life whatever crisis is there in the life it is okay but your inner your inner psyche always content always blissful always at peace it won't it won't budge it is stabilized at the locus itself what is the locus for it it is stabilized itself in the atma swarup it won't budge it won't budge here and there mind becomes stable that is prasad prasannata that is prasannata then atmanubhuti ultimate realization of brahma padartha atma vichar self inquiry leads to ultimate who i am realization that leads in shuddha sattva state only once uh, realization atmanubhava anubhuti aparoksha anubhuti happens then you become totally parama prashanti tripti praharsha paramatma nishtha these are all automatic the attributes your mind is full of your mind becomes then parama prashanti totally blissful with akhanda ek ananda rasa sada ananda rasa samruchyati yaya sada ananda rasam samruchyati this shloka ends like so mind is so blissful sukhanubhava is always ananda this ananda is which you cannot explain cannot compare to the physical pleasures sensual pleasures we get in our life it is beyond that it is beyond that tripti total contentment total paramatma nishtha our mind is always always attuned to the god only you develop sarvatma bhava all the negative tendencies are lost and internally you become so much stabilized and peaceful in the outer world you will understand now by that time the maya is totally cut see when you cut the when you go beyond sattva guna means you become gunatita once we become gunatita what happens maya is automatically cut the effect of maya goes away and you will know your reality you stabilize in your reality you remain in the reality you know that you are a birthless deathless super conscious same principle you are that principle you are that cosmic principle which has no death or no birth so you escape from the cycle you never think for even a fraction of a second that you are the body anymore you become a witness to your own mental actions you become a witness to your own thoughts you become a witness to your sense organs motor organs your body how it functions but you are not a part of it you are away from it how to explain this you become a witness of yourself how to explain this once our gurudev said all realized sages mahatmans 
though they have come out of the maya bondage still remember they are in the samsara in this world empirical world this is maya this is mithya they know it they are still in the samsara living in the samsara working in the samsara because due to prarabdha the body is there body has already taken birth and it has its time till it dies so body will live till it dies till the ayushya is there so they are part of the samsara even though they are away from samsara so they are living in the world they are living in the world of maya with a totally as a, as as our gurudev said as a wonderful actor they are witnessing reality that is sat as well as asat the effect of unreality that is world simultaneously simultaneously so they are like actors a wonderful actor elsewhere acharya gives a example shankara bhagavat pad acharya gives the same example elsewhere he says acharya's example remember 1200 years before he gave the example at that time the example was so common of dramas acharya shankara bhagavat pad says if a person is enacting the role of ravana in the drama on ramayana going on on the stage he will behave and act in such a way as a great demon king as ravana kidnapping the wife of sita the wife of rama and ultimately in the battle he will be killed by rama fine so he exhibits all the characters of the negative character of ravana but even for a fraction of a second that actor enacting the role of ravana on the stage will never forget his original name his original status he is so and so he knows continuously he knows that he is acting the role of ravana but he is not ravana himself but he is showing all the emotions so he is acting he knows like that our gurudev used to say a real brahmajnani is a real actor he will never show he will never show off he will never proclaim that he has realized himself that he is a brahmajnani himself there is no necessity where is the necessity once advaitic realization occurs everything is ekam eva advitiyam there is no second person to explain there is no dvaita bhava so there is no question of explaining anything to anybody so they remain as an actor behave like a human being live like a human being that's all till the body dies they are unconcerned about the body unconcerned about the body functions so finally acharya ends up with all this with the final one important shloka that is अव्यक्तमेतुणक्त नाम शरीरमात्मन सुषुप्तिरत विभक्तवस्था प्रलीन सर्वेन्द्रिय बुद्धिवृत्ति मुद्दे श्लोक आचार्य कारण शरीर अंत वेदात बंद शब्द स्थूल शरीर है सूक्ष्म शरीर है मे बे हेल्ता कारण शरीर के बंद ಏನು ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಉತ್ತರ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಮೇತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣೈರ್ ನಿರುಕ್ತ ತತ್ ಕಾರಣ ನಾಮ ಶರೀರ ಮಾತ್ರ ಈ ಮೂರು ಗುಣಗಳಿಂದ ಕೂಡಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಯಾವುದು ರಜೋಗುಣ ತಮೋಗುಣ ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ಈ ಮೂರು ಗುಣಗಳಿಂದ ಕೂಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಈ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಮೂಲ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಈ ಮಾಯೆ ಈ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಜನ್ಮ ಜನ್ಮಾಂತರಗಳಿಂದ ಬಂದಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಮಾಯೆ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ಬಂದಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಈ ಅಜ್ಞಾನದ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಜ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ನಮಗೆ ಮರ್ತು ಹೋಗಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಯಾರು ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂಥ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಅಜ್ಞಾನದ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ಭ್ರಾಂತಿಯಿಂದ ಈ ಮಾಯೆ ಪ್ರಭಾವದಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ನಿಜ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಮುಚ್ಚಿ ಹೋಗಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಆ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ಈ ಮಾಯೆಗೆ ಈ ಮೂರು ಗುಣಗಳಿಂದ ಕೂಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಈ ಮಾಯಾ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಗೆ ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರ ಅಂತ ಹೆಸರು ಈ ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರ ಈ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ 
ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಉದಾಹರಣೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಗಾಢ ನಿದ್ರೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಅದರ ವಿಶೇಷವಾದ ಅವಸ್ಥೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ಈ ಅಜ್ಞಾನದ ಕಾರಣವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರ ನಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ಗಾಢ ನಿದ್ದೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಗಾಢ ನಿದ್ದೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ತೋರ್ಸು ಅದರ ಅನುಭವ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೇಸ್ ನಾವು ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಮೇತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣೈರ್ ನಿರುಕ್ತ ತತ್ಕಾರಣ ನಾಮ ಶರೀರ ಆತ್ಮನ ಆತ್ಮನ ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರ ನಾಮ ವಿಚ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫೈನಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಏತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣೈರ್ ನಿರುಕ್ತ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಅವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅವ್ಯಾಕೃತ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಮಾಯಾ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗ ಮಾಯಾ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಪಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ by lord himself it is part of the lord himself it is the the omnipotent force of the lord himself this avyakta unmanifest this seed this shakti this maya shakti this mola prakriti is responsible for creation and it is made up of three gunas tamo tamas rajas and sattva so this avyakta this invisible force is karana sharira in vedanta so this is a causal body so from birth to birth from previous hundreds of birth thousands of birth we are under ignorance ajnana what is ignorance considering myself as a body only that is a ignorance what is this ignorance or ajnana means ajnana means primordial this is avidya ಮೂಲ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಆರ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ನೇಮ್ ಮೈ ಏಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಮೈ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಮಾಯಾ ಮೂಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಆಲ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ so because of this ignorance we have identified with the body we continue in the cycle of death and birth so that's why it's called causal body what is causal body then causal body is the original ajnana the ignorance caused due to the effect of maya at the time of creation itself this is called causal body because it causes the ignorance it conceals the original nature it makes you to believe that you are the body itself so that is the causal body that is karana sharira and where it is more exhibited acharya says susuptiretasya vibhakti avastha pralina sarvendra buddhi vritti in the deep sleep this is totally exhibited this attribute exhibited only in the deep sleep where is this karana sharira it is nowhere you is invisible but its effect how do we say where it is present in a deep sleep in deep sleep it is present which one causal body what is causal body karana sharira what does it mean it is responsible for ajna ignorance what is that ignorance i am the body i am so and so i am this body i am so and so all this is due to ajnana this is a play of the maya play of avyakta avyakruta mola prakruti all these names confusing 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 ultimately to remember ajnana or avidya that is mainly due to the fact that we have identified wrongly ourselves we are disconnected from the source we have to reconnect sadhana means reconnecting to the source to know reality what is my real source my real source is i am atma swarup nothing else today by guru sankalpa we stop here with a short bhajan
ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಜಯ ರಾಮ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿಯೋಂ ತಪ್ಪ ನಮೋ ಭಗ